David Vizard here, and you guys are watching Paratech 10. In this edition of Paratech 10, we are going to further our efforts on our project EcoBoost 2.3. Now, we've got to the stage where we need to look at the rear suspension because it's getting to be bouncy. That's commonly called the hop in Mustang Parlay. And uh, we're back to getting uh, what with a live axle would feel like axle tramp. But I was quite surprised here because the mod that we did looked like it was something that would affect other aspects but not the start line performance. However, I was greatly surprised. So surprised in fact that I would like to see some verification of the results from you guys. Fortunately the modification is pretty uh, inexpensive. What we did was to install a set of replacement arms that couple the top and bottom suspension, uh, what we would term A-arms I suppose. I don't think they are A-arms at the top, it's just a straight. But they couple it up. You'll see in a moment when I show the uh, installation of these bars. So here we go. First step was to get the car up in the air and remove the back wheels. That's to make it all that much more accessible plus easier for me to shoot. With the wheels removed, we get easy access to the parts that we're going to change. These top bolts can be a bit tight to remove, so be prepared to put some real torque on them. So here's the part we're going to replace removed. Note the arrows. These are rubber bushes which allow the suspension to have, in our case, unwanted flex. Here's the part we're going to replace it with. Note the two grease nipples arrowed. These must be greased as the bushings rotate on the aluminum sleeves where the bolt goes through. Look here carefully and you'll see a series of grooves in the bushing. This is where the excess grease comes out. So we will grease these bushings to the point where we see excess grease come out of those slots. Note this uh, conical depression here. Be sure you fit this here into it so it goes in like that. Well, it's a tight fit down here, so it's going to take a little bit of tapping with a plastic mallet up here to get it into place. Also, might not be a bad idea to just grease this surface here and in, in the cone shape there in case there's a, any motion there, it'll stop. You could have a phantom squeak at that. Grease the sleeve bore align it with the hole, insert the bolt and tighten up to 95 pounds feet. And the same procedure goes for the bottom bolt. And with that, all you need to do now is replace the wheels and you're done. Well, as you can see, this didn't take long to do. With all the fiddling around we had to do the filming, we had it done in less than an hour. So, for 90 bucks and an hour's work, how well did it work? Let me tell you now, before I show you this shot. As I said earlier, it's hard for me to understand why it worked so well. But let's forget about what my mental capacity may, uh, how shall I say, uh, evaluate this. Let's have a look and see what it does.
as you would have seen from that short brief test there that we had a lot of wheel spin a lot of tire smoke does that mean that the the deal's not working no since the last time we tried this suspension we've added probably in the t region of 70 foot pounds and maybe 50 or, or so horsepower with the new intercooler that we've got that's the next video so i advise you to watch that because this is not just any old intercooler test we're going to test the airflow difference between a stock one and a modified one but anyway the increase in horsepower was very substantial and you can feel it right off the cuff as for our performance against the v8 car now they don't stand a chance we just leave them for dead in the water and just think so far all we've done is take care of temperature problems and with the intercooler an airflow problem so anyway but back on to what uh, i'm saying there now you'll notice that the body is in the initial part of that start the body was just jumping up and down that is not the hop the hop occurs at the wheels and if you watch the wheel it just goes round it just goes round none of this up and down or back and forth how that's exactly working i don't know there's something going on between that top arm and bottom arm maybe it twists like this or whatever and it induces that hop much to a much greater extent than you may suspect don't know that's why i want some of you guys to just try this mod i mean it works it's much better than it was before so even if it doesn't cure it all on its own it will be much better and here's the best thing absolutely no change in the nvh i could not detect any more suspension or subframe or gear or whatever noise with that on to with it the stock one on so that's good anyway if you want one of these just go to bmr performance i'm going to put the link down here and in the address down at the bottom and 89 bucks i think it is will get you a set of these arms and within an hour of getting them you can be on the road i suggest at this point unless what other people's findings confer on this i suggest that this should be your first mod because a it's cheap and b it's quick to do it doesn't matter if it totally cures the uh the axle tramp situation but it sure will make a big difference order yours now direct from b m r because i want them to see how well my video is working for them if you're a mustang owner order it thank you for watching